And Kim, I'm up coming to you with plate number one. <laughs> okay, think about those flavours going on there. Seasoning, textures, all those sort of things you want to think about. Denise, I'm coming to you with plate number two. Open. <laughs> And Kim, I'll be coming to you in a minute <laughs> with plate number two. Open. Think about those flavours now, all those lovely tastes. Tastes for any burnt bits. Take the blindfolds off. <sighs> Come back to me now. Come back to me now. Come here close. So, which one do you think? Number one or two? Number one. Why? Um, it was a little bit less sweet than number two. Right. And what about you? Number one had far too much vinegar in it, so I think number two. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So they've chosen their own partners. Oh. So now it means it's my turn to judge. So oh. I've got a taste. OK. So... Wonderful flavours. Chicken's moist. Again, the flavours are very nice, but I just feel that the chicken's just a little bit dry. And so today's winner is Carrot. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. You did very well, Thank didn't you? you? Absolutely. Yeah. Top on. Thank you. You get to keep your hat and your coat. You also get a chef's knife, a chopping board, a saucepan and a set of cookery books to get you in the kitchen and keep you in there because you've proved today that you can do it. Well done. And Mum gets a bottle of champagne for all her stress. What yes. are you doing? <laughs> Thank you very much. OK. Lovely. Janice. What can I say? <laughs> you did very, very well. You really did. Excelled yourself. But, you know, I hate ju having to judge, but it has to, you know, I have, there has to be a winner. And so it came down to just that little bit of the chicken. But you worked very well, very clean. I was very impressed. You get to keep your chef's hat and your jacket and you get a set of books to get you in the kitchen because you've proved today that you can cook as well. And you get a bottle of champagne to go and drown your sorrows. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Yeah. I've really enjoyed yeah. it. <laughs> That's all we've got time for today, but join me again soon for some more fun here in the kitchen on Can't Cook, Won't Cook. Bye-bye. <laughs>
welcome to 100%. Our champion has already won 100 pounds during a very close and exciting game and returns to defend her title. So, contestant number one, please tell us your name. Hello, I'm Nancy Whitehead from Leicester. Trying to beat her is contestant number two. What is your name? Hello, I'm Paul Bowen from Murfield in West Yorkshire. And contestant number three, what is your name? Hello, I'm Karen Ball from Washington, Tyne and Weir. After 100 questions, whoever has the top score will be the champion. Good luck to you all. Among today's subjects, the royal family and westerns. But we begin with round one, general knowledge. Question one, which animal shares its name with a person who collects or hoards things? A, mole. B, squirrel, or C, rabbit? The answer is B, squirrel. Question two, who is the oldest member of Cleopatra? A, Zanum, B, Yona, or C, Cleopatra? The answer is A, Zanum. Question three, in North America, how is the black ball referred to in the game of pool? A, the eight ball, B, the jack, or C, the cracker? The answer is A, the eight ball. Question four, in which county is Hever Castle? A, Hertfordshire, B, North Yorkshire, or C, Kent? The answer is C, Kent. Question five, there are 11 players in a hockey team. Is that true or false? It's true. Question six, which of the following is a formal document issued by the Pope? A, steer, B, ox, or C, bull? C, a bull. Question seven, what is the meaning of the communications signal Wilco? A, I hear you. B, I will go. Or C, I will comply. The answer is C, I will comply. Question eight, what color is a flag of truce? A, black. B, white. Or C, red. It's B, white. Question nine, what is the Russian equivalent of an astronaut? A, aeronaut. B, cosmonaut, or C, argonaut? The answer is B, cosmonaut. Question 10. The Belisha beacon is named from the abbreviation of British Light and Shade. Is that true or false? It's false. It's named after the politician Leslie Hoare Belisha. At the end of round one, the scores are as follows. Karen has 50%, Nancy has 80%, Paul has 80%. The subject of the next round is the royal family. Question 11. What was the surname of Princess Anne's first husband? A. Andrews, B. Edwards, or C. Phillips? It was C. Phillips. Question 12. On which ship did Prince Philip serve in the Pacific during World War II? A. HMS Whelp, B. HMS Whippet, or C. HMS Whirlpool? The answer is A. HMS Whelp. Question 13. In 1999, Prince Andrew was promoted to which naval rank? A. Commodore, B. Captain, or C. Commander? It was C. Commander. Question 14. Whose middle names are Alexander Walter George? A. The Duke of Edinburgh, B. The Duke of Kent, or C. The Duke of Gloucester? The answer is C, the Duke of Gloucester. Question 15. Elizabeth II was born in 1926. Is that true or false? It's true. Question 16. Who is the Queen Mother's youngest grandchild? A, Edward, B, David, or C, Sarah? The answer is C, Sarah. Question 17. Who gave Princess Anne a bear cub called Nicky? A, Leonard Brezhnev, B, Yuri Gagarin, or C, Nikita Khrushchev? The answer is C, Nikita Khrushchev. Question 18. Who appeared in a Joan armor trading video? A, Princess Michael of Kent, B, Princess Margaret, or C, the Queen Mother? The answer is B, Princess Margaret. Question 19. What is the name of Lady Helen Taylor's eldest child? A, Drake, B, Columbus, or C, Vespucci? It's B, Columbus. Question 20. The Queen Mother is the second woman to be Lord Warden of the Sink Ports. Is that true or false? It's false. She's the first. The subject changes to food and drink. Question 21. Scrumpy is made from which fruit? A, apples, B, pears, or C, lemons? The answer is A, apples. Question 22. Traditionally, hot cross buns are eaten on which day? 
A. Ash Wednesday, B. Monday Thursday, or C. Good Friday? The answer is C. Good Friday. Question 23. Calipash is the edible flesh of which creature? A. Whale, B. Sea urchin, or C. Turtle? The answer is C. Turtle. Question 24. VDQS appears on bottles of wine from which country? A. France, B. Germany, or C. Italy? The answer is A. France. Question 25. A strudel is a thin sheet of filled dough rolled up and baked. Is that true or false? It's true. Question 26. Which of the following is a cooking technique involving setting fire to brandy? A. Flambe, B. Brûlé, or C. Singe? The answer is A. Flambe. Question 27. Vigno Verde is produced in which country? A. Italy, B. Spain, or C. Portugal? The answer is C. Portugal. Question 28. Which of the following is not a type of pasta? A. Tagliatelle, B. Tagliarini, or C. Taglioni? The answer is C. Taglioni. She was a ballerina. Question 29. What is the main ingredient of the Scottish dish How Taudi? A. Herring, B. Beef, or C. Chicken? It's C. Chicken. Question 30. Puttanesca sauce takes its name from the Italian word for a fisherman. Is that true or false? It's false. It's from the word for a prostitute. At the end of round three, the scores are as follows. Karen has 43%. Paul has 50%. Nancy has gone into the lead with 73%. The subject of the next round is Westerns. Question 31. Which of the following did not play one of the Magnificent Seven? A. Telly Savalas, B. James Coburn, or C. Charles Bronson? The answer is A. Telly Savalas. Question 32. On which story was the film High Noon based? A. The Silver Medal, B. The Tin Star, or C. The Sheriff's Rusty Badge? It was B, the Tin Star. Question 33. Who played Jessica Drummond in 40 Guns? Was it A, Barbara Stanwyck, B, Joan Crawford, or C, Lee Remick? It was A, Barbara Stanwyck. Question 34. In which decade did John Ford make Stagecoach? A, the 1920s, B, the 1930s, or C, the 1940s? It was B, the 1930s. Question 35. In the 1940 film Santa Fe Trail, Custer was played by Ronald Reagan. Is that true or false? It's true. Question 36. What was the name of Linda Darnell's character in My Darling Clementine? A. Poodle, B. Scotty, or C. Chihuahua? The answer is C. Chihuahua. Question 37. James Stewart played Will Lockhart in which film? A. The Naked Spur. B. Destry Rides Again, or C. The Man from Laramie? It was C. The Man from Laramie. Question 38. Who directed Red River and Rio Bravo? Was it A. John Huston, B. Fred Zinnemann, or C. Howard Hawks? The answer is C. Howard Hawks. Question 39. In which state was the film Shane set? A. Montana, B. Colorado, or C. Wyoming? It was set in C, Wyoming. Question 40. Pineapple Lil is a character from the Clint Eastwood film Unforgiven. Is that true or false? It's false. It was Strawberry Alice. The subject changes to science. Question 41. How is the crystalline decahydrate of sodium carbonate better known? A. Washing soda. B. Bicarbonate of soda. Or C. Ice cream soda. The answer is A. Washing soda. Question 42. Which of the following is an anti-corrosion process? A. Angus Bauer, B. Angus Smith, or C. Angus Deaton? The answer is B. Angus Smith. Question 43. Which blood vessels carry oxygen-depleted blood to the heart? A. Veins, B. Arteries, or C. Capillaries? The answer is A. Veins. Question 44. What type of sedimentary rock is chalk? A. Plastic, B. Chemical, or C. Organic? 
It's B, chemical. Question 45. Talc is a harder mineral than quartz. Is that true or false? It's false. Question 46. What name is given to the point in its orbit when the moon is nearest the Earth? A, perigee, B, apogee, or C, melgee? The answer is A, perigee. Question 47. What is the main ingredient of gelignite? A, sodium, B, potassium nitrate, or C, nitroglycerine? The answer is C, nitroglycerine. Question 48. What is the English name for the mare undarum on the moon? A, sea of vapours, B, sea of waves, or C, sea of love? The answer is B, sea of waves. Question 49. What is the product of 10 and 8? A, 2, B, 18, or C, 80? The answer is C, 80. Question 50. Tarbuckite is another name for laughing gas. Is that true or false? It's false. There's no such thing. At the end of round five, the scores are as follows. Karen has 42%. Paul has 50%. Nancy is still in the lead with 60%. The game continues after the break. Starting in the mirror tomorrow, Monica's story by Andrew Morton. It's the story Monica wanted the world to know. Monica's story. Read it first only in the mirror, starting tomorrow. La da da, la da 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 da. Save up to a third on Oil of Ule skincare at Superdrug. It seems that no matter where you go, people are hearing about Clairol's Herbal Essences shampoo. Hearing oh. about the all-natural botanicals oh. Oh, oh, and the organic oh, herbs. Love it. But what impresses them most oh. is how much people oh, love their hair. Oh, that feels good. Yes! Yes! Mm. Could you bring me some of that shampoo? Clairol Herbal Essences. A totally organic experience. Introducing our new styling line, as recommended by your favourite magazines. Yes! This new gentle power from Clearasil is like your ideal bloke. Gentle but powerful. What a great combination. Now you can communicate any way you want, by fax and email, internet and phone, all with the pocket-sized Nokia communicator. And now you can even communicate with pictures. Take a digital photo on a separate camera, send or receive it with the Nokia communicator. It's an easier way to communicate. Nokia, connecting people. Welcome back to 100%. After five rounds, the scores are as follows. Karen has 42%, Paul has 50%, and our carryover champion Nancy is still well ahead with 60%. The subject of the next round is television and radio. Question 51. Which documentary series about the Merseyside police began on BBC Two in 1999? A. Mersey Beat, B. Mersey Blues, or C. Beg for Mersey? The answer is B, Mersey Blues. Question 52. The Crusade, which was discovered in 1999, is a long-lost episode of which programme? A, The Champions, B, Doctor Who, or C, Quatermass? The answer is B, Doctor Who. Question 53. Sam Robinson and Emma Inglis feature in which programme? A, Paddington Green, B, Airline, or C, Vets in Practice? C. Vets in practice. Question 54. Who starred in Radio 2's The Newly Discovered Casebook of Sherlock Holmes? A. Eric Sykes, B. Roy Hudd, or C. Tim Brooke Taylor? The answer is B. Roy Hudd. Question 55. The 1973 series The Ascent of Man was presented by Kenneth Clark. Is that true or false? 
It's False by Jacob Bronowski. Question 56. Where was the BBC series Sunburn set? A. Corfu, B. Cyprus, or C. Quick Tan? The answer is B. Cyprus. Question 57. Who formed a famous comedy writing partnership with Dennis Norton? Was it A. Barry Took, B. Frank Muir, or C. Willie Rushton? It was B, Frank Muir. Question 58. In which of the following sports was Eamon Andrews, an all-Ireland champion? A, cycling, B, boxing, or C, long-distance running? The answer is B, boxing. Question 59. Who starred as Sergeant Joe Friday in the 1950s police series Dragnet? A, Jack Webb, B, Herb Ellis, or C, Ben Romero? The answer is A, Jack Webb. Question 60. George Clooney's aunt, Rosemary Clooney, has appeared in ER. Is that true or false? It's true. At the end of round six, the scores are as follows. One of you has 47%. One of you has 47%. One of you has 60%. The subject of the next round is European history. Question 61. Which 1834 report recommended the establishment of workhouses? A, poor law. B, poor people, or C, poor sods? The answer is A, poor law. Question 62. What was the name of the 1358 revolt against the French nobility? A, Jeannery, B, Jacquerie, or C, Jeanne-Marie? The answer is B, Jacquerie. Question 63. The Swedish port of Malmo was part of which country until 1658? A, Norway, B, Finland, or C, Denmark? The answer is C, Denmark. Question 64. In which year was the Paris Commune proclaimed? A, 1861, B, 1871, or C, 1881? The answer is B, 1871. Question 65. Lord Palmerston was Prime Minister at the time of the charge of the Light Brigade. Is that true or false? It's false. It was Lord Aberdeen. Question 66. By what nickname was the statesman Stefan Stambolov known? A. The Latvian Lenin, B. The Danish Disraeli, or C. The Bulgarian Bismarck? The answer is C. The Bulgarian Bismarck. Question 67. Which emperor of Austria abdicated in 1848? A. Josef, B. Ferdinand, or C. Karl? It was B. Ferdinand. Question 68. Francis Drake singed the King of Spain's beard in a raid on which port? A. Cadiz, B. Portobello, or C. Lisbon? The answer is A. Cadiz. Question 69. In 1919, Erpen and Malmedy was ceded by Germany to which country? A. France, B. Belgium, or C. Luxembourg? The answer is B, Belgium. Question 70. Napoleon III was the great-nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte. Is that true or false? It's false. He was an ordinary nephew. The subject changes to literature. Question 71. Who wrote the novel Beau Geste? A, P.C. Wren, B, D.I. Sparrow, or C, Superintendent Crow? The answer is A, P.C. Wren. Question 72. Who wrote the line, Do not go gentle into that good night? A, John Milton, B, Dylan Thomas, or C, W.H. Auden? It was B, Dylan Thomas. Question 73. Inigo Jolifant and Jess Oakroyd are central characters in which novel? A, Cold Comfort Farm, B, The Vicar of Wakefield, or C, The Good Companions? The answer is C, The Good Companions. Question 74. The Sum of Things is the last book in which series of novels? A, The Levant Trilogy, B, The Alexandria Quartet, or C, The Raj Quartet? The answer is A, The Levant Trilogy. Question 75. Hilaire Belloc was born in France and became a British subject. Is that true or false? It's true. Question 76. Who was the fox-hunting grocer created by R.S. Surtees? A. Jorrocks, B. Horrocks, or C. Borrocks? The answer is A. Jorrocks. Question 77. Which Jane Austen character marries Captain Wentworth? A. Fanny Price, B. Catherine Morland, or C. Anne Elliot? 
It's C, Anne Elliot in Persuasion. Question 78. Christopher Isherwood's Mr. Norris Changes Trains is set chiefly in which city? A, Chicago, B, Berlin, or C, Paris? The answer is B, Berlin. Question 79. Which Russian writer's works include the play The Lower Depths and the novel Mother? A, Maxim Gorky, B, Ivan Turgenev, or C, Mikhail Lermontov? The answer is A, Maxim Gorky. Question 80. The first novel to feature Sherlock Holmes was called An Inquiry in Indigo. Is that true or false? It's false. It was A Study in Scarlet. At the end of round eight, the scores are as follows. One of you has 51%. One of you has 51%. One of you has 60%. The final round is general knowledge and begins with question 81. Which word can be used to mean a tuft of hair over the forehead? A. Moose flick. B. Bullwhip. Or C. Cowlick. The answer is C. Cowlick. Question 82. What was the English meaning of the abbreviation KGB? A. State Intelligence Bureau. B. State Security Committee. Or C. State Police Commission. The answer is B. State Security Committee. Question 83. Which poets first met at Craig Lockhart Hospital near Edinburgh? A. Wordsworth and Coleridge. B. Shelley and Keats. Or C. Owen and Sassoon. It was C. Owen and Sassoon. Question 84. In which county is Woodstock? A. Oxfordshire. B. Cambridgeshire. Or C. Buckinghamshire. The answer is A. Oxfordshire. Question 85. The jet stream is a Pacific current which warms the coast of eastern Russia. Is that true or false? It's false. Question 86. What is the name of John Peel's long-running Radio Times column? A. Family Ties. B. Family Album. Or C. Family Fortunes. It's B. Family Album. Question 87. Which of the following pieces of music is composed as a greeting to the dawn? A. Serenade. B. Obad. Or C. Lambada. The answer is B. Obad. Question 88. Citrine is a semi-precious variety of which mineral? A. Corundum. B. Quartz. Or C. Topaz. It's B. Quartz. Question 89. Who was the male star of Every Which Way But Loose? A. Burt Reynolds. B. Clint Eastwood. Or C. Warren Beatty. The answer is B. Clint Eastwood. Question 90. Newfie is an informal name for a native or inhabitant of Newfoundland. Is that true or false? It's true. Question 91. By what name is the titular head of the Muslim community in Jerusalem known? A. Grand Lama. B. Grand Mahdi. Or C. Grand Mufti. It's C. Grand Mufti. Question 92. An M is a unit of measurement used in which industry? A. Brewing. B. Printing. Or C. Weaving. It's B. Printing. Question 93. Against the odds is the autobiography of which boxer? A. Leon Spinks. B. Joe Frazier. Or C. Larry Holmes. It's C. Larry Holmes. Question 94. In the 1994 European election, how many MEPs did the United Kingdom elect? A. 81. B. 84. Or C. 87. It was C, 87. Question 95. The common yew tree is deciduous. Is that true or false? It's false. Question 96. With which sport is Jonah Barrington associated? A, tennis, B, badminton, or C, squash? It's C, squash. Question 97. In which U.S. state is the Grand Coulee Dam? A, Texas, B, Montana, or C, Washington? It's in C, Washington. Question 98. To whom did Jesus say, get thee behind me, Satan? A, Judas, B, John, or C, Peter? It was C, Peter. Question 99. On whose writing is the play The Street of Crocodiles based? A, Thomas Mann, A, Bruno Schultz, or C, Franz Kafka? The answer is B, Bruno Schultz. And question 100. A dog called Pepsi survived on the roof of a car being driven at 70 miles an hour for over 75 miles. Is that true or false? 
It's false. Pepsi is a cat and was completely unharmed. And at the end of the game, the scores are as follows. One of you has 46%, one of you has 49%, and one of you has 58%. Our champion today is Nancy from Leicester, who wins £100. Congratulations, Nancy. Sadly, we have to say goodbye to Paul and to Karen. Your scores weren't high enough, but thank you both for taking part. Before we go, Nancy, will you return to defend your title? Yes, please. Then we'll see you on the next edition. Until then, from me, Robin Houston, goodbye.